I recently decided to get into film photography. I went on vacation for two weeks to England. I brought along my father's Nikon FM2 with a 35mm F2. And I figured, what better way to check out my film photography skills than to live react to my very first attempt at shooting film. That way you, the viewer, can see how easy it is to be a film photographer. First photo. Fucking awful. Picture two. Photo of my sister and my dad. I'll be honest. The advertisements in the background are not great. My cousin Albie in the corner looks cute as usual, but I'm pretty sure this is the most useless photo anyone's ever taken. Um, you might see a grandmother take this on their iPhone 78 times and do nothing with it. Somehow this one's even worse. No one's even paying attention. This kid asked me to take a picture of him climbing up this wall. I thought he was going to do something cool, but instead he just hung out and did nothing cool. Three pictures in, nothing but stinkers. Graffiti and my mom. Okay, I kind of liked this mural right here, the low distortion hi-fi stereo. The sky looks cool as it usually does in film. What does this photo tell you? <sighs> Nothing. Now this is where the photography gets really good, I think. I really liked, I was really called by this um, mattress that said, your mom's minge juice on it. I thought that really told a good story, so I decided to take a photo of that. And then I did it again. This one has a guy walking in it. I like the colors of this. This is all shot on Portra 400, I say. Actually, this is, this is Portra 400. Half of it was Portra 400, half of it was Portra 160. This photo is fine. Probably not going to go anywhere. Pretty funny, though. Your mom's minge juice. Um, I don't think I'm cut out to be a photographer. This is a picture of a building being built and as boring as you could expect. This is me at the Leica store. I spent like an hour here nerding the fuck out and I took a picture of the case. Is it a good picture? No, it's probably a disgrace to the Leica store. Maybe the worst photo ever taken in Leica, but I guess it tells a story. These are the range finders here. Maybe I could buy one and become a better film photographer. This might be the first okay photo. Kind of shows a little bit of depth of field, it shows the um, the dystopianness of riding the tube and following in line to get from underground to above ground. Somebody more artistic than me could make meaning of this, maybe. I'm not disappointed in that one. This girl is not happy to be on camera. And I wouldn't be either if this was the result. Nope. Looks terrible. This is Peter Stringfellow's uh, nightclub. Fun story. Me and my mom and my dad went there one time for his funeral. So rest in peace, Peter Stringfellow. This picture sucks. This is me in a bathroom. I look like I have jaundice. Uh, this was in Nando's. Cheeky. If you've ever had Nando's, you know it. You know, it makes you feel spicy inside. So maybe I was feeling a little spicy. Took a picture of myself. Another loser. I think we have one good photo so far. See, I was really expecting this picture to be kind of cool because there's a pink car right here. And this building was pink as well. But the pink just doesn't pop. Maybe I overexposed a little bit. But it just doesn't look as cool as I thought it would be. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking with this one. I do love the color of the sky in here with the Portra. Uh, the blue is, is awfully blue and the reds are awfully red, but I don't know if I like the tent in the corner. I might crop that out, but you got the English and the, the Chinese lanterns in Chinatown in London. Kind of cool. Another picture of Chinatown. <sighs> I don't think I'm cut out for this. See, I kind of like this one. Kind of looks like a good phone background. Turn on inside. This is parasols in uh, Chinatown. I like the nice contrast. I think this is probably a winner among losers. Um, the sky, again, the blues in the sky with the Portra 400 look unbelievable. This was a North National Portrait Gallery, and I was like, oh, National Portrait Gallery. I'm going to take a portrait of the National Portrait Gallery. Again, kind of a nothing burger. In the tube, you see the noise and the darkness like crazy here. This is ISO 400. This is... The tube does have a weird dystopian feel, so maybe I captured that. 
This is McKenna walking up a uh, tunnel. Obviously, a ton of noise in this photo. Huh. Lame. This is the tube. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, it shows some depth. You show the, the line going away. Not horrible. Doesn't say a whole lot. I don't know if it's winning any awards. I'll be honest. This is when McKenna got in a fight with my other sister, Brooke. Decided to capture it on film. Missed focus. So even if it was a good photo, it's out of focus. But she looks really pissed. That's because she was, because she was in a fight with Brooke. This one, I tried to do a long exposure uh, showing the trees going by uh, while we were on the train. I missed, we missed the train stop and we ended up adding an hour onto our trip. So I was just fooling around. Uh, everything is out of focus and the shutter is too slow. Looks awful. This one, I got the shutter right. I'm in focus and the long shutter is going by and they're out of focus. Why? I don't know. Looks ridiculous in my opinion. This is a picture of a dove out of focus. Good Lord. It looks like an accident, like my sister McKenna. What am I doing? Okay, I guess I decided to press the shutter three times in a row on accident without taking a picture. That is $3 down the drain. Pizza! Don't know what I thought I was going to get here. I got a picture of a pizza van. Maybe cool to the retro fans out there. Uh, even though it's not retro, it's supposed to look retro. There's my mom. She'd probably not be too happy to be in my photo. So, love you, mom. There's my dad. Oh, no. Anyway, this is the uh, viaduct in Chapel. And fine photo. This, I think, is cool. But to see the viaduct, which are thousands of year old uh, appearing from outside the trees and then contrasting with the blue. This might be a, might be a winner. Roast me if it's not. Roast me for any of it. It's all pretty bad, so don't worry. If you roast me for this one, it's fucked up. This is my cousin, Finley. Look at that. Oh my God. Isn't he adorable? He's one year old almost, I think. I don't know how old he is. There's the viaduct in the background. You can see we're in the same place, but now he's on a swing. He was swinging too. Fully manual focus, mind you. It's not easy to do. And I, I nailed the focus on that. Wow. That's a, that's a portfolio piece. I'm going to be honest. This is another film that I think, a picture that I think might look better with a different film. You lose the red tones in the brick. Uh, but you see this is uh, overgrown vines growing up the inside of the viaduct. Um, I think it's a cool subject. It was way cooler in my head, I'll be honest. Oh my God, who took this? Oh no. Oh, you know what it is? Maybe the shutter speed was a little too low. Sorry, McKenna. You're not going to get your Instagram post out of that one. Picture of fire. Vintage car sticker bombed. Kind of cool, to be honest. Don't know if I like the comp composition at all. It's kind of not level. I feel like I could have lined up the two windows in the background. Honestly thought that had some potential. Seeing a vintage car, like vintage car with some film. I thought you could just bang them out. Obviously, maybe there is some talent required for this. News to me. Cows, not a single one is looking this direction. They saw the camera pull up and they said, go away. You see, I kind of like this photo. The way the portrait does the colors, it makes it look very... Um, Menacing. This is a this is a somebody's castle. This is a Chatsworth House. It's called, and uh, the muted tones really do make for a menacing look on this on this castle. I'm going to be honest. It makes it look very grandiose. I kind of like this picture. Maybe I'll send it to Chatsworth House. Try to get some money out of them. Otherwise, it's going in the bin. Again, seeing the vintage buildings, kind of cool. This is a, a pump station, I think. I like the colors on here. You have this the green is very green. Um, cool pick. There's my sisters in front of a vintage building wearing Lululemon running up a hill. Pointless. This is cool. I like this one. This is my sisters taking on the view from the pump house, looking at Chatsworth House, checking out the views from this hill. Could I have nailed the framing a little bit better? The composition? Yeah, but I was in a rush. Okay, there's other people trying to take pictures. So I snapped this one. They probably would have liked that they were in focus rather than background uh, because they're narcissists. But um, first time shooting film. Not too bad, okay? Now here's the view without my sisters. Better picture. 
better picture, except for this guy in the green. Maybe, uh, I don't know if it's a sacrilege against film to remove people via generative AI. I might kick that guy to the curb, though. This is fucking cool. This is what Portra was made for. Look at this lady. She dressed all up in era specific stuff. And I was like, I need to get a picture of this lady. She had this giant flowy dress on with the purple and the flowers on it. And you see all the vegetation here at Chatsworth House with the stairs going up, leading lines, kind of the trees going up left and right. And she's just right there, dead smack on the, the rule of thirds. Learn that one on YouTube. I think that's actually really, really cool. That's my favorite of the uh, so far. Let me know what you think. There she was again. I was right behind her. There's a bunch of freaking vagrants in front of her, I guess. It ruined my photo. And like the composition is just terrible. And she's out of focus and so is her boyfriend. Uh, he did have a 24 to 70 G Master F2.8 Sony Mark II on his camera. So I was like, nice lens, man. There they are sitting down. I could have centered the stairs. Uh, yeah, this is a, it could have been a cool photo. I, uh, in my naivete, ruined it. I'm still in love with the greens here. I think this could be a cool photo. This is, this is an all right one. I'm not upset with this one. Gosh, the blues in Porch are just unbelievable. They really just stick out like crazy. Although this guy looks ridiculous in this. I don't know what I was trying to do. I took a picture of this wrought iron structure. Um, waste of film. Absolute best use of film. Portrait of mom and dad in front of Chatsworth's house. They're looking like they're having so much fun. Beautiful. I feel like I could have stepped to the right a little bit and centered everything. And it would have been much cooler. Maybe I'll just crop in. Is that allowed? Are we allowed to do that with film? Probably the worst photo I've ever seen. Um, I don't know what happened down here. It looks like there's a light leak in here. Um, nothing sharp except for the lavender tea room in the background. And everything looks really muted and awful. I don't know what I'm taking a picture of. I think there's cliffs over here. Kind of a cool landscape. I wish I didn't fill as much of the frame with all these trees over here, though. I don't know if that was an option, though. I think to the right there was more houses. Looks almost Jurassic Park-esque if you look over here. Obviously, you're not going to be able to zoom in much because it's film. But could do better, probably. But, you know, this my, it's my first time. This is just so English. You have the village down here with the castle, the menacing castle at the top of the hill. Could use a crop, maybe? Not in love with the colors of this one, though. I was saying the saturation is a little out. Uh, the blues are a little muted, and so are, the greens aren't... Greens aren't greening. I love this little terrarium in front too. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, if I had a longer lens, I think this could be uh, probably Nobel Peace Prize winning photography. I think I took about seven landscapes this day. I don't think any of them are winners. Uh, this is on some hike. Um, you see the cars down there. I kind of like the miniature look of the cars and how they're they're. If they were a little brighter, I wish there was more different colors. Not my favorite. I kind of like this. It kind of looks like Thomas the Tank Engine. Does anyone remember that? Just the way they have the miniature cars going down this swirly thing. Uh, meh. This is me and my sisters. Again, you get the great skin tones. No, nope. The red is sticking out, but that's just because everything else is black and gray. Designer shades to hide your face, Brooke. Love it. This one, at least it tells a story. My mom's here putting uh, a rock on the... Cairn? Cairn. A rock on the cairn, and uh, we're overlooking the, the landscape that we were walking past. It tells a story. Is it a great photo? There's me with my boots on. Maybe out of focus. Looking very yellow. And my front leg looks like an elephant's leg. Um, not making it on the gram, I'll tell you that for free. There's McKenna. I think my dad was taking these pictures. I'm pretty sure they're out of focus. McKenna also looks very yellow. Not loving it. There's Brooke. She looks normal. Uh, these three are all losers. That was shit. Shit. Landscape. Landscape. There's the mom tour. Fine photo. Cool photo. You see you have the, leading, the trail leading down and me, us starting to walk down. Sky's not look, looking too pretty, but fine. Cool landscape. Not loving the greens in this one. Too bright, little darker. And I think this one looks a little bit better. You get a little more of the sky here. 
the the trees are very uh they're looking very forest. I like this one. This is probably this is probably the best of the landscape so far. Out of focus picture of berries. I thought this might be cool with uh it's kind of like a window into the uh landscape looking out. I just don't think there's enough detail there and enough contrast to see what the hell's going on through this window. Maybe with like a 55 mil lens, this might be a little bit better. Maybe like an 85. Boring. Really noisy right here. Um, yeah. Lame. See, this is what, I don't know if this is a cool photo. I mean, it's not, and it's not certainly not amazing, but the, the, the skin tones here are amazing. McKenna's eyes are insanely sharp, especially for film. That's, it does have that vintage look. I like it. That could make it on the Instagram. McKenna, what do you think? Do not like the way I'm standing. Uh, I look like a thug tourist that thinks uh, telephone boxes are the coolest thing in the world. You got to take a picture when you're in England with a telephone box, especially if you have a film camera. The reds do just really stick out here, the really bright reds. Maybe if you could crop in, which you probably won't be able to do, you, which I would do if I had a digital camera, but I wouldn't have taken this picture with a digital camera. I don't know. What do you think? Kind of cool. Kind of lame. The Playhouse. This was a waste of film. There's Albie, out of focus, shooting his rocket. Waste of film. Waste of film. There's my parents. They look amazing. There's Brooke and Finley. Brooke, slightly out of focus, maybe. Finley, look at those black eyes. Oh, my Lord. He looks adorable, though. Good job, Finners. Thought I could get some of these power lines. Wrong. You see just how hard it is to get a swing in focus. Earlier we had that picture where the swing was in focus. This is not in focus. All right. Cool vintage car. Not a cool composition. Terrible picture of Albie. Out of focus and he looks disgusting. Albie, shape up. Ooh, picture of fireballs at the Ipswich Town game. They won this game and I think they're leading the championship. Go Ipswich. They had just scored a goal. I Longer net lens, probably necessary for this situation. Although I was trying to capture the crowd's reaction along with the player's reaction, I think this hand ruined it. But cool to see 20, 25 celebrating along with the crowd. I think I captured the ball going in. Oh! That is an absolute delete. Another picture of the back of someone's hand. And nice to see the Stoke City guys crying. Oh God, I ruined this picture of this Ferrari. I was really excited to take a picture of a Ferrari in front of a pub. The Ferrari is completely out of focus. And you can't really, it's not a good angle of the Ferrari either. This was a terrible, terrible picture. That's a McLaren behind the camera strap. My disappointment is measurable. My days are ruined. Here's a picture in the mirror of, a, of the window of a horse carriage that says carriage horse. Oh, God. There's my friend Nigel, out of focus. My dad's friend Nigel, out of focus. This is a cool picture of my friend, my dad, and my friend, his friend Judd. They look so happy to be together. This is what photography is all about. And the film just makes them look so rustic. Amazing. Good on you. Cool photo, kind of. It's a picture of some castle or something. Nigel again. I think I was off too many pints here. I was just letting him rip. I got the right side of his face in focus. Um, not so much anything else. This was the very first photo I took, so this will be the first roll. Um, this is before we even left. This was as we were getting in the car. Everyone was happy. No one had started bickering yet. Terrible picture. I mean, I don't know what... There is to be photographed in a security line in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but I guess I thought it would be cool and I was wrong, 100%. I remember thinking that the contrast of the yellows with all the grays and blacks would maybe make a cool picture. I was wrong. Finley, out of focus. Finley, slightly less out of focus. Vintage car, kind of cool. Earl's Cone. I mean, I, this is the first roll and I was just obviously off to a horrible start. Telephone booth. Transformed into books. Lame. I remember thinking this was funny. Elderly people. Why do you have to put a sign up? I don't know. There's my cousin Charlie in his shop. There's Charlie in the exact same position with the exact same smile in his shop. There's my dad out of focus in the shop. 
There's a McLaren out of focus in the shop. There's a McLaren in focus in the shop getting better. Is any of that McLaren stuff cool? I don't know. Oh my God. There we go. Okay. It was out of focus. I realized and I took another picture. Uh, kind of a waste of a picture of a McLaren. This is the house that I was conceived in. I think. Lovely. There's Chester. There's a terrible picture of a field. There is a terrible picture of my family and friends. Well done, Max. This is kind of a cool photo of a fishing town. Kind of a cool photo of a fishing tugboat. I do love the wood colors backed by the blue sky. I think that's something, the glow of the blue sky you don't get with digital. I just, I really like that look. To be honest, fishing boats and mud. My whole family out of focus. Oh, I gave the camera to my mom. More boats, more boats. I went trigger happy. I thought this picture was kind of funny because they were just sitting here. I saved an ice cream. Not funny, actually. I was wrong. Bentley. Lame. Pudge. Kind of cool. Wow. This was a completely accidental double exposure. This is a picture of Butt Lane. I wanted to take a picture of Butt Lane. Turns out I took a picture of Butt Lane and some other lane on top of each other. Don't know how I did that. That ruined my day. Terrible photo. Ending on a terrible note. Don't think I'll ever shoot film again. Wow, that was awful. Maybe there was five winners of 125 photos. I was not cut out for this life. I'm going back to digital. Sorry for exposing you to that. Have a nice day.